Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on enlargement, uh, sometimes sometimes referred to as dilation. And we're looking at enlargement, dilation, scale factors. And the scale factors looking at will be the volume scale factor, the area scale factor, and the linear scale factor. And as usual, this comes from an IGCSE higher tier uh, exam question. And the GCSE, so, and therefore suitable for GCSE higher tier, and also for 10th grade algebra. Right, now we've got two spheres, sphere A, which we call the image, and sphere B, which we call the object. There. Now, both spheres are made from the same material and therefore have got the same density. And hopefully would have done this uh, in your science class somewhere. Right, we are told that the surface area of sphere A is 80 centimeters squared and that for B is 22 centimeters squared. We also told that the mass of sphere A, the larger of the two spheres, is 80 grams and the mass of, so we're supposed to find the mass of uh, sphere B. Right, now firstly, looking at uh, the scale factors, now if we say let A sub SF be the area scale factor there, and L sub F be the linear scale factor, and V sub F be the volume scale factor there. That's what we got there. All of this. Now moving on. Um, from your science class or a pass even your maths class, you will have done that the that mass is equal to density times volume, or perhaps you will have done mass over volume is equal to density. Okay? Right. Now bearing that in mind, also we know that sometimes I've done I've done a video on uh, area scale factor before. So the, your surface area, sorry, the surface area of image divided by the surface area of the object is equal to the area scale factor. And area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared. Okay, hope I'm making sense there. Right, now, the surface area of the image is, is one A, is 80, and the surface area of the object B is 22. If you divide 80 by 22, you get 3.636, and this is the area scale factor there, or if you like, the linear scale factor squared. So we have that linear scale factor squared is 3.636. So if we take the square root of both sides, we have that linear scale factor is the square root of 3.636, and uh, that gives us a value of 1.907. That's the linear scale factor. Now, if we, if the mass of the image is, is the density times volume, therefore the mass of the object must also be the density times volume of uh, the object there. Okay? And because the Densities are the same, so dA and dB can cancel out. So that's what it got there. So they both cancel out. So we, we are left with VA over VB. Now VA, the volume of the image divided by the volume of the object, yeah, will give us the volume scale factor V sub F. Okay, and V sub F is uh, the linear scale factor cubed. So that, in effect, M A, which is the mass of the image, divided by M B, which is the mass of the object, to give us the linear scale factor cubed. Okay, and and that's what we got there. And when we cross multiply, we have that uh, the mass of the image is equal to the mass of the object times the linear scale factor cubed. Okay. And uh, if we divide both sides by L sub F cubed, we're going to have uh, that the mass of the object is equal to the mass of the image, MA, divided by the linear scale factor cubed or the volume scale factor, if you like. So we then have that 80 divided by 6.934 because if you cube that, 
the last gear factor cube will give you um, 6.934 okay and uh, then we have a value of 11.537 grams okay now to the nearest integer will give us uh, 12 grams now I hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe thank you for watching bye bye now